What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got one of the new modern icons. This is a Toyota Yaris GR and it is a very popular car as you know. We've made a review with it. Uh, today we're going to focus on this car which has a race chip installed and thus has a bit more power than stock. So the Yaris GR in general, we're not going to cover that too much. I'm going to walk around it quickly, show you a couple of cool things on it to remind you what an awesome car this is. And then we'll take it for a drive on this beautiful road. Absolutely gorgeous. We're in uh, near Göppingen in the south of Germany, near Stuttgart. It's so nice here. The roads are great, much better than uh, where we come from. Now, if you're thinking, well, I missed that other review of the stock Yaris and I want to learn more, you can click in the top right corner to check out that video we made a couple of months ago. So that's what we're going to do today. And if you want to buy our calendar, Martijn is currently posing for there is, oh my God. Uh, our calendar will be available in the near future. <laughs> so at the front, we've got this big grill, this square rectangle. I really like that. I like that this little hatchback looks so like menacing. We've got these big rectangular intakes and a lot of GR badges around the car. Very, very bespoke for the Yaris, this body. There are only a couple of things which you will find on a regular Yaris, which is mirror caps, uh, this fin right here, the roof fin, and both the front and rear light units. Uh, the rest is bespoke for the Yaris GR, which is awesome. A lot of aluminium, which shaves weight, carbon fiber roof as well. Uh, the roof has been lowered up to 10 centimeters at the rear. So this car is a homologation special. It has been designed, developed with the WRC World Rally Championship in mind. Uh, Tommy Makinen, who is a rally legend, is running uh, that gig over there and he is, well, <laughs> he's not messing around with this thing. Look at how wide that car is. This is so much wider than a normal Yaris, which is not available uh, with a three-door configuration. So that's always five doors because your granny has to fit her granny friends in the rear when she goes to the bingo. Now at the rear, you can see that if you sit right behind it, you can see how wide it actually is. <laughs> the shape is so cool. Uh, and we've got this Miltec exhaust on the car as well. Uh, now it can really use an exhaust, but I do think that this is an OPF back exhaust. So it, it's a little bit louder than stock, I think, but not by much. Now this is actually the car of the dad of one of the guys at Racechip who uh, loaned us this car while they are working on our uh, BMW M3. So really, really cool. Thanks so much for letting us drive it today. Really appreciate it. Uh, well, what else? Well, we've got the 18 inch forged wheels. This car has those, so that means that it also has the circuit pack or track pack. 18 inch, really, really cool wheels. We've got GR specific brakes as well. Now, we are going to turn off the race chip. Normally you can do this with an app, but uh, this person doesn't have the dongle installed so we can do it by hand where is the thing i just so that is the race chip and you can set it manually as well so we're going to hit zero for off and uh this is the engine 1.6 liter three cylinder engine with 261 horsepower and a little over 300 newton meters 307 if i remember correctly um with this race chip GTS Black, that goes plus 30 horsepower and plus 73 newton meters of torque. So that brings the total to 291 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque, which is nice, a nice increase. But I guess, you know, this three cylinder engine has already been so like developed that, you know, normally these race chips get a little bit more power. But I think especially that torque is going to be really nice. 
So driving modes, we've got a little button down here, uh, which controls the driving mode and also controls the four wheel drive system. So we've got track, sport and normal. Now, normal is 40% rear, 60% front. Sport is 70% rear, 30% front. And uh, track is 50-50, but with the ability to split it 100% either way, in theory. So there's a truck coming, so I'm going to make sure that, yeah, we're in front of that. So we have a nice empty road in front of us. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Oh, look at that. Ah, we have to, IMT is, I think is the uh, throttle between shifts, the blip, the auto blip, and where is traction control? There it is. Let's turn that off as well, because I saw that light blinking already. Oh, but look at this road. What a lovely, what a lovely hot hatch this is. This really is something special. It honestly, it's very rare to come across a car like this that feels this different from everything else. Okay, so we've got a traffic light here, which we just skipped. Let all the guys go, and then we're going to stop here at the red light, which Honestly, it looks like a freaking rally stage, doesn't it? We're here like waiting for, for the light to turn green. Um, so yeah, we're going to drive it a little bit with the race chip off uh, as like a reminder of how it feels. And uh, then we're going to turn it on and turn around and see what it's like. Well, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. But anyway, we should have a nice clear view in front of us now after these roadworks. Okay, here we go. So, we've got that four wheel drive system sending 70% to the rear wheels. It feels so powerful, really. For a three-cylinder, you really don't feel like you're driving a three-cylinder. Yeah, yeah. So we've also got two Torsen differentials, one at the front, one at the rear and like a center clutch in the middle to divide the power. But this, this is very good. It handles like, wow. It's, it, you can really feel that the car is so short and wide. It feels like a, like a very square car. Lane departure warning, no, I don't want that. Okay, whatever. So look at this beautiful road. This is also, you know, a very good road for this car, to do this car justice, I would say. feel nice and solid as well. Yeah, it's a very good car. It's a very, very good car, but honestly, 
I'm not surprised that the owner decided to install the race chip because even though it feels really nice, it can, it can do with a bit more power. I think it can actually handle it quite easily. So we're going to get out and get this buddy up to seven. So you have seven maps in the race chip GTS Black and you can configure them to be like eco modes or sport modes or race modes, whatever you want. So I don't think we've been passed since by anyone, so that should be okay. And we're going to go for sport mode again. Sport, yeah, we're in sport. And traction control off. And IMT on. Okay, so let's see what it feels like now with the race ship on. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you can definitely feel it already. It. It feels like this was in there already, you know, it, in your, in your memory. Like sometimes you you drive cars and they are faster in your memory than they are they actually are. Uh, this is one of them because I have to say that when I got into this car again, I was like, yeah, it's a really nice car. I like the way it looks. I like the way it drives, but it's not that quick, really. And when I was reviewing it, I I, I really thought it was very quick. So. Oh, that's very, very good. That's fourth gear. That's a lot of torque. You can actually feel that torque increase. Oh my God, I'm going to murder that lane departure warning. How can you turn that off? There it is, okay. Yeah, uh, especially that torque, you can really feel that. Uh, you know, that's the great thing about this race chip. Oh, it picked up really well there as well. Uh, that's the good thing about the race chip. You can turn it off and on again, and you can drive it back to back, you know, multiple times. You can drive the same road up and down. Ah, oh, that feels really, really good. It's definitely, a bit more punchy and I think the throttle response is a bit better as well. That is impressive. <laughs> I can't believe this is a three cylinder. It feels so punchy. And that exhaust, that exhaust you know, it's not super loud, but you can definitely hear that you've got a bit more of a growl there than stock. Wait, I mean, stock, it is completely, completely quiet, basically. There's really nothing, nothing coming from those exhaust, uh, from those tailpipes. So everything is like an improvement, I would say, basically. So that build tag really helps. So in short, yes. <laughs> this race chip really adds something to this car. 30 horsepower, 73 newton meters, you really do feel that. You just, it just revs out a bit more like strong. It just feels like a bit more potent. Yeah, I, I, I really like it. I think it's an awesome, uh, awesome install for this car. Okay guys, so uh, let's take it to the Autobahn. Wave to Martijn who is going to wait here. Bye. And we are going to go to the Autobahn. Now let's, oh, we've got everything in the right settings already because Martijn just did the Autobahn run. Oh, so, so lovely. What an awesome car this is. Okay, so at the Autobahn, I think this is just, a little bit of roadworks and then we've got unlimited unrestricted as you can see the sign right there now what are we going to do we're going to accelerate third gear there we go oh that is 
impressive. It, oh, it just keeps going. 220, not bad. That is working well. And the Oscar for most idiotic performance goes to Max at Auto Top and L again for forgetting to turn on the speedo cap. Again, it, 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 it happens so many times. Okay, uh, that's fifth gear. We're going to go for fourth gear and slow it down a little bit. Now we're just going to see if we can get a gap here. bit busy yeah we're we're actually on the highway towards Stuttgart right now which of course is not always a great idea traffic wise but we're just going to have to make do with what we've got okay so fourth gear three and a half thousand build that torque oh it feels really really nice so as I said, we went from 261 to 291, which is, you know, a nice bump, 30 horsepower, but it's not that much. The torque, 73 newton meters, you do really feel that with those in-gear pulls. You feel that the car is just, the car becomes, if you drive them back to back, the car just feels a little bit lighter. I think that's the best way to describe it. The performance increase is not so big that you think like wow that's a lot of power but the car feels lighter which is a really nice feeling in a hot hatch okay there we go again fourth gear nice little pull and again i've said it before i can't believe this is a three cylinder just the way it goes, the way it sounds, is so nice. And it's seriously quick. So as I said, Martijn just recorded the Ultima POV and he also did the 100 to 200 measurement. Um, stock, this car did a 14.86, which is quite nice. That's quite quick actually. Um, but that was in winter, so the temperatures were a lot lower. Right now it's 28 degrees outside, and Martijn just did a 13.01. So that's 1.8, over 1.8 seconds quicker uh, from 100 to 200. So that's super impressive. So the power is definitely there, and, and you really feel it. It's a good little upgrade, I like it. I like this car too, I think it's a lot of fun. The car just feels so square. I absolutely love it. And when it starts understeering, it it just it's it's not annoying or anything, you know. You can just fix it. It's so nice. Okay, so let's go right again. And let's go for third gear below 100. Here we go, full throttle. is nice and i love the fact that this car is black too i think it looks so much more menacing and serious than the red one we had from toyota in the netherlands i think this black is really cool and the car in general is so cool the fact that it's homologation special is cool but also the approach to the car and the fact that i mean there's really hardly anything to compare it to it's just such a special car and I see around me that a lot of people who really know their cars 
are buying these Yaris GRs because they're just so much fun and you know easy to zip around with they're nice and powerful and when you put a Miltec exhaust on there at least you have some resemblance of sound it's still not super loud but it's definitely better than stock yeah that's nice it's a very good upgrade this race chip for the Yaris it works well and as you have seen in the 100 to 200 list in the measurements uh, the power is there and I can tell you when you drive it you really feel it, it it's such a nice feeling to to be able to drive them back to back and just experience what happens when the tune is on uh, I think I'm going to end it here I mean it's quite busy so I'm not going to do anything more than this hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you could also check out this video or go check out this playlist see you at the next one guys bye